Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Flippity's Spelling Words template to create individualized spelling games for your students. Now, to get started, you can go to flippity.net and select Flippity Spelling Words. Let's take a look at the demo. And we'll choose a list. Now, these are student names. Let's choose Elmo. And these are Elmo's words that he needs to practice spelling. So he has this one here. And now he can go and practice. And then we have a quiz mode as well. And we can see how I did there. And then we have the option for more activities, like doing a matching game, just like your classic memory game. There we go. So now let's go back in and take a look at how to actually make our spelling game. So we can do it one of two ways. We can click on template and that'll create a template in Google Sheets for us, provided you've signed in to your Google Sheets. Or you can go into a blank Google spreadsheet and use Flippity's Google Sheets add-on and pick a template. And we'll find the spelling words template right there. And let's use that one. Now you might be wondering why would you do it one way versus the other. If you have access to the add-on, I prefer using the add-on because the updated version of it provides you instantly with the link that your students will use to play the games. If you use the spreadsheet template and make a copy of it, you have an extra step to publish. Here, it's automatically published for you. So now let's change this out. You'll see here our student names. I'm gonna change out that student, make that student Max, and we'll give some words for Max to learn, like bark, Wolf and dog and puppy, cat, kitten. And we'll do one more. So now I have Max's list of words. I want to have Max's results emailed to me directly. So I'll put in my email address. And when Max is done taking the quiz, I'll get a copy of his results emailed to me. You can put in more than one email address up here. So if you wanted to perhaps include a co-teacher or a student or a parents, student's parent, you can do that as well. So now for my students to play the game, just go to add-ons, go to Flippity, get our flippity.net URL, and now we give that URL to the students. Students choose their names from the list, there's the list of words that Max now has to practice. And again, you can practice, Spell. quiz, Cat. 
or use one of the additional games based on his individualized word list. So that's how you can create individualized spelling games for your students by using flippity.net. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.